page 98. Poem 4 A Thing of Beauty About the poet John Keats who lived between 1795 and 1821 was a British romantic poet. Although trained to be a surgeon, Keats decided to devote himself wholly to poetry. Keats' secret, his power to sway and delight the readers, lies primarily in his gift for perceiving the world and living his moods and aspirations in terms of language. The following is an excerpt from his poem, Endymion, a poetic romance. The poem is based on a Greek legend in which Endymion, a beautiful young shepherd and poet who lived on Mount Latmos, had a vision of Cynthia, the moon goddess. The enchanted youth resolved to seek her out and so wandered away through the forest and down under the sea. Before you read, what pleasure does a beautiful thing give us? Are beautiful things worth treasuring? Now the poem. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness, but will keep a bower quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. Therefore, on every morrow are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to the earth. Spite of despondence, of the inhuman dearth, of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and over-darkened ways made for our searching. Yes, in spite of all, some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits, from our dark spirits, such the sun, the moon, trees old and young, sprouting a shady boon. Such the sun, the moon, trees old and young, sprouting a shady boon for simple sheep. Page 99 And such are daffodils, with the green world they live in, and clear rills, that for themselves a cooling covert make against the hot season, the mid-forest break, rich with a sprinkling of fair musk rose blooms. And such too, is the grandeur of the dooms we have imagined for the mighty dead. All lovely tales that we have heard or read, an endless fountain of immortal drink pouring onto us from the heaven's brink. Rills means small streams. Break means a thick mass of ferns Think it out. Number one, list the things of beauty mentioned in the poem. Number two, list the things that cause suffering and pain. Number three, what does the line, therefore are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to earth, suggest to you? Number four, what makes human beings love life in spite of troubles and sufferings? Number five, why is grandeur associated with the mighty dead? Number six, do we experience things of beauty only for short moments or do they make a lasting impression on us? Or do they make a lasting impression on us? Number seven, what image does the poet use to describe the beautiful bounty of the earth? Notice the consistency in rhyme scheme and line length. Also notice the balance in each sentence of the poem, as in, of noble natures of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and over-darkened ways, 
made for our searching yes in spite of all